Hello everyone, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy 2024. We are at the end of the year, so I thought I would do a series of videos on what have been my most used plug in 2023. These are gonna be fun and quick video lists. And of course, I wanna know what have been your most used plugins in 2023. Write it in the comments down below. In this one, my most used compressor plugins for 2023 <laughs> wasn't easy. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Newsfest TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, all the links to the plugins that we're gonna see in this video are gonna be in the info box down below, along with other cool links you should definitely check out. If you haven't already, go to the new website, mixbustv.com. In there, you can find all the mix and mastering courses available on many different genres, start to finish. And right now, until January 6th, you can use this coupon, mixbus50, to get 50% off any of the mix and mastering courses. On the website, you can book all the other courses as well, mix, master, in private lesson, mix consultation, and a lot more. And if you want to access all the exclusive videos here on YouTube, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, you also get mix consultations. And if the videos are helping you, you want to support the channel, consider using the super thanks or grab some merch. Let's get to the video. All right, just like I said before, my most used plugin on every project at this point, you guys know, is console one, specifically the SSL 4K. So just by sheer number of instances is going to be the SSL compressor channel. But I also also use a lot of other compressors that are in console one uh, specifically the British is one of my favorite the Empirical Lab my key distressor like compressor I use a lot TL100 the CL1B and also the Valley Dynamite so what's in console one really is 50% of the compressor plugins that I use and everything else is basically hardware and analog for me but I could still make a list and we start with my mixing compressor so arouser by Empirical Lab will probably be number one and one of the most used. I still use the CLA76. I still like that plugin, but now that Universal Audio doesn't require hardware anymore, I also like their 1176. These three are definitely among the most used for mixing. I really like Arouser. You know how much I love my distressors, so this is kind of close to it. And generally speaking, I'm a fan of 1176 compressors for single channels and mixing, so mastering compressor. So I don't use that many mastering compressors plugin in mastering, because again, I have quite a lot of hardware specifically, especially for mastering, but Unizoom and Softube by DS1 NK3 are by far, by far, my two most used compressors for mastering. Unizoom is, it, Unizoom is a plugin that doesn't make me feel the difference between plugin and hardware when I use it. Meaning if I try, let's say my NG Bus or my Bus Plus or my RSC on a project for mastering and it doesn't go and I end up using Unizoom because I want something more precise and more transparent. It's the one plugin that doesn't make me feel any emotional difference. To me, Unizoom is up there and sometimes better than hardware is completely a matter of what the track needs. This compressor is an absolute masterpiece. I have, of course, a dedicated video of it on the channel if you're not familiar with it. And of course, the S1 MK3 is uh, pretty much on every master I do. Uh, I actually have a series of videos dedicated to this plugin. That's how much I love it and how much I use it. What can I say? This is a industry standard. To me, nothing replaces the DS1 MK3. These are definitely my uh, two most used compressor plugins for mastering. Kind of a specialty compressor that kind of grew on me uh, lately is the Arturia Tube Sta. This is an emulation of the Sta level. I really like the color. It's definitely not the most versatile compressor, but when it's the right ticket, I really like it. I like the action, I like the color, and I like also the advanced options that they put there. Award for new product, because it was released not long ago, and one of my new absolute favorite thing in the world it's the rock rupel comp 2 this thing i absolutely love it it makes me smile just looking at it because i know how it sounds again we have a video on it as well this just like the michelangelo from tone project is one plugin that i started using on prod on real projects for clients the day of when i got it tried it it started making it in all my projects for groups single tracks even two bus sometimes it's amazing i love this plugin they really nailed it and finally old but still gold is the mjuc this is still on top of its game 
and rivals with the best of the best, the latest releases. I love this plugin, use it all the time still. It's still one of my favorites and uh, I don't think you'll ever go away. Uh, of course, I left a lot of you know, compressors that I use, but these are definitely the most common, even just by going a number of instances in my project. And uh, of course, I wanna know which are your favorite compressor plugins. Leave it in the comments down below. All the links to the plugins are gonna be in the info box down below. Go to the new website, mixbustv.com. Until January 6, you can use code mixbus 50 to get 50% off all the mix and mastering courses. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe, happy holidays. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat Lift me up, up man, take control Heart is so